Nerd soul. Yo, this is your boy C Brown coming to you live with that Wuha flavor representing that Dunkin' on Sports and that Nerd Soul Sports. And we bring you that Wuha flavor. You already know what we about to get into. The Bucks and the Nets are 1-0. They play tonight. So how do you think that's going to play out? The Nuggets and the Suns also play tonight. How do you think going to play that out? That's going to be game one of that series. Also, the Clippers beat the Mavericks. Didn't see that one coming as well. So they're keeping LA alive. It's not the Lakers that everybody wanted to see, but LA is still alive. Do you also believe that that's going to be the team that's going to play the Brooklyn Nets? Because everybody says the Brooklyn Nets are coming out of the East. So who do you think's coming out the West? But let's get into this tornado that is Damian Lillard. Everybody out here that's in their offseason and not in the playoff picture right now is shooting their shot at Dame. Also out there, everybody shooting their shot for these coaches out here. For the Portland Trailblazers, you got Chauncey Billups, Jeff Van Gundy, and Mike D'Antoni from the Brooklyn Nets all biting at the bit to become the head coach. Damian Lillard also threw out Jason Kidd, but Jason Kidd said he don't want none of that smoke. He don't want to have nothing to do with it. So do you really think Dame's going to leave, or do you think they're going to super soup up this team and give him a super team or put a team around him that's going to be able to get him a ring and keep him there? Uh, so how do you think it's going to pan out? Also, this whole Dallas situation is unraveling at the seams. If y'all don't, if y'all take a little step back in the Wonder Year, Chris Stas Przingis did everything in his power to get out of New York. Yes, he was injured, and Dallas took a gamble on him and got him injured. He's been injury prone ever since he's gotten to Dallas. Yes, he is a spectacular specimen. He is the unicorn, but he has been injury prone. But after this exit in the game seven to the Clippers. He out here saying that he doesn't feel like he's being utilized properly and he doesn't feel that he's, you know, being focused on and he's like an afterthought. Yeah, you are the afterthought. You should have known that when they brought you over the back of, you know, uh, Luka Doncic. Also, you're not doing what Luka Doncic is doing out there. You're not performing or dropping the numbers that he's dropping. So, obviously, you're not going to get the attention that he got. Also, you're injury prone like crazy, bro. Also, your offensive threat. Yes, your defense has fell off in the last couple of seasons. But if you get back to that peak level where you're the offensive threat and also a defensive threat, they will definitely feed you the ball. Um, also, you got to step your threes up, man. You're a three-point threat. You're like seven foot. You're, a, in my eyes, a better version of dirt. But you just got to prove it. You got to step it up. You got to... The, the last couple of games that they clutched it out, it was all on Luka Doncic's shoulder. So you can't sit there and say that you want more attention or you want to do more this, that, and the other. You were invisible in these series. Like, nobody was talking about you. Nobody saw. I mean, you were probably pulling some numbers, but, I mean, it wasn't enough to be like, oh, he, yeah, he's a game changer. Like, when you see Damon McCollum on the court, you, you, there, it sparks a little bit of fear. When you see LeBron and AD, you see fear. When you talk about Dallas, you're only talking about Luka. There is no Chris Stapps involved. Um, maybe Tim Hardaway, because Tim Hardaway is a walking bucket. But, like I said, how do y'all think these Panthers is planning out right now? And who do you think is going to come out with the dubs out of these semifinals? Also, who do you think is going to come out to win the finals, win the ship? Yo, it's it's been a roller coaster ride of a playoffs, and they already chopping at the bit of this playoff situation, or this all season situation with these teams and all these different players. So how do y'all feel out there? Do y'all really think Dame is gonna go somewhere? Do y'all really think you know they're gonna change the coach? What you really think is gonna happen out here? A lot of people. Also, I didn't even think about that as we you know wrap this up and give y'all peace. Tell y'all to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Mr. Danny Ainge himself left Boston and then Brad Stevens stepped up to the front office position. How do y'all feel about that? And what do you think is going to happen with Boston? Everybody is also going after Marcus Smart. But we're going to stop it right there. We don't want to hold you up too long. We're going to make this a to-be-continued. If you want to know some more about this new hot flavor on Dunkin' on Sports or Nerd Soul Sports, you have to tune in tomorrow because we definitely got way more for you. So I'll holler. Leave a like. Leave a subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Peace.